Ukraine's president has called for the relaunch of any terrorist operations in the east of his country against pro-Russian militants after two men, including one local politician, were found allegedly tortured to death. It follows a visit to uh, Kiev by the US Vice President Joe Biden in which he's warned Russia against any further provocative action. Here's Sky's Katie Stallard. Even on the steps of the church outside their funeral, they can't agree how these men died. The man with the megaphone says they were killed by a knife. He's interrupted by a man in a balaclava in the crowd. He says there was a sniper, there was a machine gunner. They were killing us with gunfire, not with a knife. These were professionals, he says. Death to the murderers, they chant. Inside, for all of the orthodox grandeur and the reverence, there are mourners and cameras side by side. Priests and journalists standing next to each other. For each family, this is a personal tragedy. But what's happening here in a small town in eastern Ukraine has consequences much further afield. Russia says this proves the authorities in Kiev are losing control. The government there says the checkpoint shooting was fabricated, that all sides must abide by the Geneva peace deal agreed last week. But no one's really listening to them here. We met the self-proclaimed mayor of Slavyansk nearby, his bodyguards carrying assault rifles and wearing the Russian victory ribbon. We do not recognize the Kiev junta. We can't even call them a government. They are not the authorities for the majority of people in Ukraine, particularly here in Slavyansk. He said if Russia won't send peacekeepers, they would like weapons, that they have plenty of people here ready to fight. And then they carried them out of the church to a round of applause. They chanted glory to the heroes of Donbass. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Slavyansk.